Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Manhunt 2. Previously in our murder-tastic misadventure, we escaped the asylum with the help of our mysterious friend. We ended up in the bad side of town, and we were getting chased down by a group of secret agents working for the project called the Watch Dogs. Uh, we reached a burned-out house, a place filled with lots of ghosts and creepy things, a... Danny seemed to remember little bits and pieces, but couldn't really make out what was going on. Now, in this house, we found uh, a mysterious drug um, that helped us remember the name of the man, the name of our dark benefactor, the man named Leo. But we also found a matchbook uh, leading to somewhere, and I guess that's our next lead in this mystery, right? So, let's get started on the next stage. Sexual deviance. You know this place. The project recruited here. They preyed on people, made them disappear. We shouldn't be here. No, I need to be here. There's someone I need to speak to. I saved these matches for a reason. This is not important. It's a distraction. I want my past back. This is all I have to go on. The past doesn't matter. Let it go. I'm going to find a way in. Who's down there? Oh, shit. I told you we shouldn't be here. Are you trying to get us killed? Well, it's too late to back out now. Let's move. Uh, Danny, he can see you. He can see you right there. <laughs> wow. Solid Snake, he's not. <sighs> the pervs run this club. They're pure sleaze. Guys come in expecting a blowjob, they go out, Project Zombies. They'd rip your head off in a heartbeat. I got a bad feeling about this. Well, we need to find a way inside. Well, this looks like a good way inside. As good as any, really. Let's go over to this infinite brick spawning pile here and throw one through the window. There we go. So, this is the game sh teaching us about throwing things. And here's another mechanic, which uh, is environmental executions. And uh, basically, we can use some thing around the environment to kill people with. You see the way that guy was leaning back? He must have a huge dick. That's why they do that, right? Do Let's it before him. it's too late. Die. All right. We're gonna kill him on a toilet. Nice. Um, in the beta version of this game, there's a slightly longer version of the execution. It's not really more deadly, it's just longer. They're not gonna hear us with this music blasting. Okay, and here's another new mechanic. Like I said in the last video, this game was slow to introduce things. Well, this is the third level. And now they're introducing, uh, basically noise that makes a uh, hunter's death, so to speak. Of course, uh, we won't be able to benefit for that for long because the show is about to end and the club is about to shut down for the evening. That's one hell of a dance, huh? Not really sure who she's dancing for. Bye, I mean, I think... boys. Oh, good night, good night. I think these guys work here. And, uh, you know, at first I thought it was kind of strange that these people, uh, you know, Looks like they're closing this place down for the night. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I glean that, Leo, thanks. These guys seem to be looking for someone, and I thought that was odd until I realized that the guy who's outside in the cutscene actually saw Danny climb over the... the Kill him! Uh, ...the wall like a dump... What? Oh, damn it. Now, one thing I've learned playing this game... <laughs> Is that uh, the the best way really to sneak up on someone and do an execution is to lock onto them with the the right click first. Uh, otherwise, Danny might take a swing in the air and they'll they'll hear him somehow. I don't think we've seen level three with the syringe, so there we go. And yeah, right in the eye. Yeah. It was either them That's his or flu you. Shot. Remember that. Okay. 
Um, what was I? All right, we won't be seeing the syringe again for a while, so I figured I'd show us a uh, show us the level three. Now, this stage, in my opinion, is one of my least favorite. Uh, it combines a few things I don't like, um, like loud droning noises, like we had in the first stage. Do it before it's too late. Um, there we go. Let's kill him too. Yeah. Nice. Stab, stab, stab. Level two glass shard, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, right. Um, loud droning, droning noises. Okay. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah, hey, have some soda. Uh. So you can throw things to break windows, you can throw things to distract guards, and you can throw things in guards' faces and knock them down. It makes beating him up a little bit easier. I'm gonna break his head open, because why not? Yeah, smash. Let's do that again. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, nice. Let's pick up that body. We're gonna need it. Um, <laughs> gross. Uh, you know, early on in this game, it kind of forces you to try to use all of its mechanics, and then later it says fuck it and throws out most of them. That's okay, because this particular thing here, slowly carrying the body over to the stupid uh, weight pressure that opens the backstage door, I mean, what is that, man? And what is health sticks? Kind of makes me think of some shitty protein bar you'd pick up at GNC or something like that. Uh, what's over here? Right. Oh, gross. I mean, yeah, I know it's the end of a long night, but still, I mean, this place looks unsanitary. I mean, who actually goes here, you know? It, what do they do about the health inspectors? Do they just bribe them, or what? I, I don't know. Ugh. This place. Disgusting. <laughs> uh, what? Okay. I remember this place. The yeah. The person I'm looking for is here somewhere. Oh, really? Looking for a stripper, huh? Well, I know you guys have probably noticed the red flashing across the screen while I kill people. Well, it's a long story, but I need Finish to rebuy him. the game, okay? Because I lost access to the game that I bought legally because of some stupid bullshit that happened when Direct to Drive admit, I didn't think bought you had Gamefly. You. But hey. And the, the new version I bought... Uh, hold on a second. Here's a cutscene. Listen up, perverts! Oh, I got a Nazi if horse. You want to taste the real hardcore? Pig, enter the dungeon. Oh shit! The real hardcore, huh? I don't know about that. Everything's ready. Come with me. And there's a doc. Oh, that doctor lady's here too. Huh? Well, that's weird. I didn't really take her for a freak. Anyway, um, right. So GameFly doesn't sell Manhunt 2 on their on their uh. Their online store, but because I don't know why it happened, but the game asked me again for the activation code just randomly. Okay, I bought the game back in 2010 from Direct Drive, and I was unable to get the activation code again because um, GameFly doesn't sell Manhunt 2. Now, I did get a, a, Go a email. On claiming that they were going to put it back in the store soon, but I'm pretty sure that's bullshit. So, like I said, I need to buy the game from another vendor, and I did find one, fortunately, but um, the new vendor doesn't have stereoscopic mode. That's quite a mask, huh? Uh, ugh, wonder what he pours down there. Probably not beer, huh? Anyway, um, so let's get out of here. I mean, the exit's right over there, so let's just head over there. Anyway, um, like I was saying, uh, you know, so I need to, there's no stereoscopic mode, okay? And I don't have 3D monitor, but what that also does is it gets rid of the red flashing when you do executions. I don't know your face, and only faces I know get in. Get the fuck out of here. What? How rude. A douchebag. Uh, so, anyway, uh, we gotta look for a face he knows. Uh, maybe we can ask some guys upstairs and see if they'll, you know, they'll, they'll tell that guy to... Well, fi let's find Georgie Boy, and maybe, you know, he'll let us in. I don't know. If we ask nicely, I mean. Um, right, so... I got this game again, but there's no stereoscopic mode, so there's flashing on the screen. It might be kind of annoying 
for you guys. It might not be. Um, maybe I'm just remembering it wrong, but I could have sworn the PlayStation 2 version's uh, red flashes were uh, much worse than they are here. But maybe I'm just remembering things wrong. I don't know. Uh, personally, I think Kill it was him. okay. You know, I mean, I don't think... Ooh, broken neck. Yeah. Um, so, that guy said he wants a familiar face. Let's, let's get him one. Let's get this axe here. And, uh, I don't really want to carry the entire body. It's a lot of work, you know? Maybe we can just take the, the most important part, you know? I don't really know if this guy's Georgie boy, but, I mean, they all got masks on anyway, right? I mean, he's not going to know the difference, you know? Let's just, uh, yeah, nice. Let's take his head. So, there are also executions that can remove people's heads. I think I showed that off in the last video where I, I used the hedge clippers on some poor bastard and chopped his head off. So here comes another guy. Oh. Panther Fist. What kind of band is that? I Go know. on! Alright, boom. Off goes his head. And his, head's, his head is removed as well. <laughs> um... What was I thinking about? I lost my train of thought there. Right, the, the bat executions and the axe executions are kind of lackluster, you know? But I mean, really, what else can you do with an axe or a bat other than bash someone's head in or chop it off, right? Alright, let's see if this works. Georgie boy, come on in! Jeez, you look like shit. <laughs> I like the way Danny bobs the head up and down. Dumb fuck can't tell his mother from his meth dealer. And that guy is Move nearly Danny, impossible to sneak up on. Really wanted to chop him up with my axe. So, this is another reason why I... Uh, I, I hate this level. <laughs> or at least this first part of the level. The last part of the level is kind of interesting. Um, you'll see in a second, but... Sneaking up on the... Why did he turn around? See, that's the thing about... AI and Manhunt 2 is I'm that, uh, I don't know, people so turn good. around randomly and it makes it really hard to sneak up on people. Alright, there's another guy coming in from behind. Let's see if we can get him to come up here. Hoo-hoo, <sighs> beating up on the health sticks machine. Okay. Oh, boy. So, this thing doesn't happen every single time there's certain... Oh, God, you look terrible. Ugh. I'm sorry, Father Fist, not Panther Fist. Whatever. I'm gonna kill this guy, too. Fuck it. I am sick and tired of trying to sneak up on people. Stand back, one bad motherfucker coming through. <laughs> oh, I love that line. I didn't say it very often, but... Okay, so now we can proceed to the last section of this level. Ugh. Okay, so that that's a cattle prod. It's a pretty fun weapon, but uh. Ugh. It's oh, there's that me. lady, Doctor White again. We have to find her. Yeah, let's find her. Um. Another cutscene. Please don't do this. Oh, please. Oh, please. You don't wanna do this. Oh God. Which which saw came out this year in 2007? I can't remember. Was it four. Oh god, he's dead. Actually, it really makes me think more hostile than Saw. The stage here. Yeah, I think the developers have definitely seen hostile. You know. Well, here's our uh, our horse Nazi friend, maybe, or something. Kind of looks like a Nazi. I don't know. Um, a lot of interesting characters in this. Smash the light level. so we can hide. Finish him. Okay. I wonder what the level three is gonna look like. Oh, yeah, punch him, punch him, yeah. And we're gonna pick up a circular saw here. It's a pretty fun weapon. And let's see if we can put that to good use. So, let's make some more darkness here. Um, the point of this stage is, uh, basically the opposite of what we were doing in the asylum. 
in the asylum we had to close all the doors and in the dungeon here uh, we need to open all the doors before the goal will open up and oh we've been seen ow there's a goblin that's scary there we go Let's see if we can hide from it now not so good at this hiding are you all right I'm really struggling to think of interesting things to say because honestly this is the big problem with manhunt too is that uh you find yourself either uh, killing everyone in the old-fashioned way man to man and uh, ooh, damn in the back and in the back of the head you find yourself either you know beating up on people the old-fashioned way or you find yourself uh, you know, I don't know. Hiding and running and hiding and running like we're doing right now. Alright. Is he coming out? Is he gonna come out to play or what? Probably not, right? Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back and, uh. Let's see. Oh, he's just standing there. All right, here he comes. Okay. And we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock him down, and then we're gonna hide. So that way he turns his back on us, and that way we can execute him. All right, stick with me, folks. There's a uh, the end of this section is pretty interesting, I think. So. Okay, do it before it's too it late. It gets better. Oh, Jesus. That was, a uh, that was pretty brutal, huh? Yeah, chopped his head off. All right. Um, what else? We gotta open this door here. Anything in here? No, no, nothing in here. Oh, man. I'm starting to think I should just cut... A lot of this section out. Ugh, gross. Because honestly, um, this is one of those stages. All right, and that's just telling us the answer to the puzzle, the answer that we already know. The thing about this stage is, it's one of the few stages in Manhunt where you can actually bypass guards. I think. Pretty sure you can just open the doors without. Uh... Oh, that's quite a magic trick, Danny. How'd you do that? All right. Um, so I switch out for the pro cattle prod, but I don't think I use it in the stage. Sorry. Um, now what was it? Right, so all we really have to do is open these doors. We don't have to fuck with any of the guards. But that kind of defeats the purpose of Manhunt, right? So, there are three executions all lined up. And we're going to see all three of them. Have a seat. Sit down. There. Got water on the knee. Operation. Something, something. Operation. Rotate it and drill his teeth out. Operation. I'm the doctor for you. That's how that song goes, right? Huh. Never owned that game. I just played it over at my cousin's house. Yep. Another satisfied customer. Well, I guess I failed that test, huh? I'm gonna have to go back to Kaplan. Take, take my... Oh, it won't open. Oh, well, it's... Okay. Oh, here we got a Dr. Unicorn, it looks like. You know, it's pretty, pretty, uh... Apparently, this guy can't see very well in his mask. Here, and... Nice. Yes. And again. You're a natural-born stone-cold killer. Ooh. Yeah, Leo's enjoying this quite a bit. Kind of makes you wonder who Leo is, anyway. I mean, who is he? What's his background? What? Why does he know Danny? And uh, you know, why? Uh, I just gotta go backstage. There we go. You know, what's this project, anyway? Why is the project 
torturing people in a an S and M club? I don't know. So the door is open, and we can just leave now if we want. But uh, I think we're gonna deal with Mr. Mouse Man here. Give him a little taste of his own medicine. All right. There we go. Hit him in the head, and ooh, right in the back. Up. 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 There we go. Hang him high. Nice. So, uh, this game, this level, all about environmental executions. Um, there are more environmental executions in the game, but these here are by far some of the most creative, I believe. Not, not that we've seen all that there is to see in this game. There are still a few, uh, few choice sections that we'll be seeing as we move along. So, this right here is the end of the stage. We're going to watch another silly little cutscene coming up right now. My God. Oh, it's Dr. White. Danny? Is that you? What are you doing here? You shouldn't have come here, Danny. You know my name? They'll catch you, take you back. Tell me what's going on. It's the project, Danny. They're everywhere. What's going on? <sighs> Leo said I should... Leo? You've spoken to Leo? Without Leo, I wouldn't well, even Well, yeah, I mean, you. can't, okay. can't you, you see him? You Lady, this. he's right the there. Safe house. The safe house? That's Where? Rude. Above the cinema. Don't come back here, Danny. Please, just let it go. Let what go? She's setting us up, Danny. Shut up, Leo. I'll do what I want. Ugh. That bossy. Alright, so that was Let's Play Manhunt 2. Um, well, not really much to say, other than I'll see you next time. Goodbye. So long. See ya till next time.